Like, huh? Uh, I wish I did. And they always say like, oh, the Ifa or oceans that I could keep my you hair. You get your hair shaved. I'm, just I'm like, interesting. Sorry, Mumro. I can't move fast to get your hair shaved. Hold on one second. Hold on. So I want to comment on that specifically. So now there are certain Odu that you don't have to get your hair shaved. I know. But how does everyone have it? <laughs> that is so to hit to hit to what Ron was saying too. I will say that there are definitely a lot of unscrupulous things that happen. <laughs> to say the least. Right? So I was you talking about an old dude that's rare and everyone and their and their mother has it? I get it. I get it. I get it. But so it, to piggyback off what he's saying too, so it all depends on the initiator that you have, because, like I know, uh, my Luo, there's anytime there's an initiation here, there is a lot of babalows, a lot of babalows that are involved. There are a lot of babalows here and in Nigeria at the same time that are chanting that are or there's so much that's going on in all in one scope and the herbs the LA fire is like vast um and so it really is like there are a lot of things that happen here that should not happen right i put it like that and there are a lot of things that um what if i initiations i've seen those as well because some people was like oh so it's just a day mm -mm. This, this you're talking about seven days in that grove right you're talking about certain things that happen specifically in that grove that we can't speak about because it's in the grove but there are, are specific things that are in the ground there are specific things that are um that are opened up that are the initiation happens in a specific way, right? Right. And you can't just sometimes you can't just import it and bring it on a plane, especially certain things like a certain Arisha. You really can't because of what's in it. You can't really just bring it on a plane easily. No. You know. <laughs> I don't, you know, I'm saying little things, but yeah. Certain Arisha that you cannot. You can't. That's facts. There are certain Arisha that you cannot do. You have to go. There's no question. Oh, that you can get done over there. Um, I've, I've heard a lot with Osign, for example. You get receive Osign, and unless you really know what you're doing, when you bring it back over here, it's not going to work at all. At all. You know, the, the, the core of that is, too, is a lot of things. So I, I put it like this. So as my, my Lewis told me, that things have to be irradiated before they, they're brought through an airport, right? So certain things, they're killing them, killing it, because it's an entity, right? They're, they're like, there's certain things that- Also are coming coming over the ocean has one effect. Right. Um, I've noticed like, even when, every time I travel abroad and come back, I have to wash everything and refeed everything for it to get, for me to feel, you know, it again. Especially with especially with old new stuff, um, but and also some things may break and and coming over I had a lot of stuff break, um, but especially with ceramic, ceramic or wood or whatever, um, but um, yeah that's true. But certain but like when you're dealing, I didn't have this so much with Aziza surprisingly, but I know that with Osine coming from Nigeria, that's one of the number one complaints where, you know, it's because you're dealing with something that comes from a specific locale, like a forest from a certain area. And we don't have the same spirits over here. And we don't have the same, um, I, I constantly say this, you can't replace centuries and centuries of ancestors that have been put in the ground or put in a space. You can't just, bring all of that energy in a, in a, in a package <laughs> from, you know, transplanted from somewhere. And that's the reason why the, the traditions are different. They're using different sets of ancestors, a lot of them mixed from different tribes, indigenous, etc. 
And so they, that changes 